Hey guys, how's it going? Joseph here and I'm back again playing around with the TCL P-Series. Now this is the TCL 605P, which is the best budget TV I, I have for 2017. If you guys are interested in this one, you can order from uh, Amazon or you can order this TV from Best Buy. It's about 600 bucks. It's uh, one of the best TVs there is. It has a lot, a lot of really good features that only most of the high-end TVs offer. Now, if you guys want to know more about this TV, you can browse through my, my channel. I have plenty of this videos. I have the best HDR settings. I have the best uh, input lag settings for with local dimming. Um, I have how to achieve 4K 60 Hertz. I have comparisons videos with this one and my Samsung KS 8500. You guys want to see this. So, but this time I'm going to be playing around with DVD movies. I have videos with a 4k movies and maybe blu-rays but not dvd movies now you know dvd movies are only 480p now if you guys want to see how different it is playing a, a dvd movie on this one how well the upscaling is this video is for you guys all right so this time i have dr strange doctor extraño yes dr evil you guys remember that movie Do Do Doctor Evil. Well, no, this is Doctor Strange. Uh, this, I bought this, and the movie has the Blu ray, which is right here, and the DVD. It didn't, you know, Disney didn't offer Blu ray in 4K until now, I think. Now they switched it, which is good. So, this is the actual DVD movie, guys. I'm going to show you the settings that I, that I find that are the best. Remember, these are my preferable settings. You guys can sh change this if you guys want to. And also, leave a, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys some better, you guys have better settings for this. But, um, and then we'll, we'll test it out. All right. So, hold on. All right. So, for TV brightness, I find that normal is great. It looks really good, really nice. Bright is for, you know, if you're in a, during the daylight, brighter, seeing like that. Darker is if you're in a dark room, you know. But I find, I'm in a dark room right now, so I find that normal is great. Picture mode, normal also looks great. Sports looks too blue, also vivid. Low power, it just dims everything out. Movie, ah, I think everything looks washed out. I don't like this. I find that normal looks pretty nice. Then from here, we're going to jump into advanced picture settings. Now, local contrast, I have it in low. The reason being is because this local contrast on this TV is very aggressive. You guys can see this. It gets bright, right? And then, boom, it gets dim, like dark. It helps to for the contrast. It does help. But you don't want uh, to be too aggressive. Otherwise, you're going to lose details on the shadows, on the blacks. So you don't want that. You just want enough to uh, have a nice contrast. All right? So dynamic contrast is gray out. You don't use this. I find that the backlight 100 is okay. It looks looks good. Brightness is at 50. Contrast 100. Sharpness. Now, on this... This particular type of movies, you do need sharpness. So I left it at 50 if you guys want to play around with more about this one. On 4K movies, I don't use sharpness at all. Those movies are very, very sharp already. But this is a 480p movie DVD. So remember, you are going to need this. Color at 60, I think it's a sweet spot. You guys can lower this or maybe, you know, increase the value on color. But I think 60 looks really good on this one. Oh, shoot. This is one thing about this, the, the menus go away really fast. So then after that, color temperature, I left it in warm. I like warm. I don't like cool. I don't like normal. I think warm is a sweet spot. It makes all the colors more, you know, vibrant, more warmer, <laughs> as I like it to be. Game mode, make sure you have game mode off. You don't need game mode. You're not going to play in a first person shooter here. And that's it. That's it, guys. These are the settings that I'm using for a DVD movie. And now we're going to change this to a Blu-ray player and then to a Blu-ray movie. I'm sorry. And then we're going to do some screenshots to do our comparisons on this one. Now, I just wanted to mention I'm playing this on my Xbox One S. So the Xbox One S has a 4K Blu-ray player. So in combination with the upscaling that the Xbox does and the TV does, this is the image that you're going to get. I mean, it's not the best. No, it's not the best out there because it still is a 480 format. 
but you're gonna get some improvements with this settings that I just show you. So let's jump into the Blu-ray and let's see how the Blu-ray is gonna look on this TV. All right guys, so we are back and this is going to be the Blu-ray movie right here, the Doctor Strange. So before we had the DVD, now we're having the Blu-ray movie. And let me tell you, my God, the image quality, it's far superior. Of course, I mean, of course, it's like twice the resolution right here on this one. And let me show you the settings that I changed. Uh, the changes wasn't that different. It wasn't that big of a difference. So I'm gonna show you real quick what I did. Uh, TV brightness, I left it in normal once again. Picture mode is in normal again. And on the advanced settings right here, local contrast. I find that local contrast, I don't know guys. It's up to you if you want something brighter and you don't mind, you know, that having much of a contrast then local contrast is good enough but then if you want something you know with better darks better contrast you might want to have it on but i recommend to at least have it in low once again i think high is very very aggressive but it's up to you like i said it's up to you let's 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 and this time i'm gonna just leave it in low maybe medium yeah low i think low is fine it looks very nice and low but um like i said you guys can change this if you want to now let's do this the backlight is going to be 100 the brightness is going to be at uh, 50 contrast 100 the sharpness i lower the sharpness from 50 to 25 on this one uh it looks way better trust me it looks way better than the regular dvd movie now call oh my goodness now color is from 60 i lower down to 50 and i think it looks really good right here the uh, ter temperature, color temperature, I left it in warm as always. And game mode is going to be off. So that's it. These are the settings that I'm using. Like I said, you want to change this. Maybe you want to use some high on local dimming, local contrast. It's up to you. Maybe you don't want to use local contrast. But I'm using it in low. So that, those are the settings that I'm using for the Blu-ray player in, in a Blu-ray DVD, Blu-ray movie. Okay, so this is not 4K or regular DVD. This is the Blu-ray 1080p. And I think this looks pretty awesome. Let me guys, let me know. You guys let me know in the comments below what are your settings? What do you recommend? What do you want me to change in this? And maybe just write down your settings. It will be much easier. Maybe we can try them on the next video. You can be featured and I'll mention your name. I'll give you credit for that. And uh so let's check out some comparison pictures right here from this one, the Blu-ray and the DVD. All right, all right. Well, as you guys can see, for obvious reasons, the Blu-ray player looks way, way superior than the DVD player. But the Xbox One S still is able to upscale this movie. And some same with the TV. You know, this TV actually does help to improve the image, but it's not gonna get better than uh, Blu-ray for obvious reasons. All right, guys, so that's it for me. I'm Jolster, and if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, like, leave it a like, and leave your comments to help out the channel. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.